Hello everybody, welcome to Pilates. My name is Cheryl. For this session of Pilates, we will be utilizing this nice little band I have here. It go goes by the name of a Dyna band, a Thera band, or whatever kind of band. It's just kind of wide and it's stretchy. The different colors usually tell you the different resistance of the band. Um, you usually want to have one that's at least five to six feet long because we will be use it, utilizing it in all different ways from the warm up to the workout to the cool down. And as we get started, we're just going to bring it into your hands just nice and easy. Those feet are open in the Pilates first position. You're going to take a nice deep breath. Inhale, take it up. Take those arms, stretch it behind you long. Again, inhale, lift. Exhale, bring it back over in front. Take it up, warming up through the shoulders, holding those abdominals in and lift up and bring it down in front. A couple more just like that. Take it up nice and easy, lifting up. Take it back as far as is comfortable for you. If you can't bring it all the way down by your glutes, that's good. That's okay, I should say. Uh, once again, working at your level, the band is going to add a little bit more resistance to your workout today. If you don't have a band, anything we do with it can be done without it. Inhale, lift. Exhale, take it over. And one more, take it, lift up and bring it back. You're going to take it overhead. You're just going to stretch it over to the side and bring it center to the opposite side. Bring it back center, staying nice and tall through your center, keeping those hips square to the front and bring it up. Two more this way. Take it over. Those arms are staying long for the moment and lift up. Other way, take it over, lift up. Nice deep breath. Inhale. You're just going to exhale, fall forward and just roll up one vertebrae at a time, lifting the arms back up overhead. Inhale, exhale, fall forward, keeping the arms wide. Just drawing the band up your legs, coming up to the center and overhead. Again, inhale, exhale, fall forward. Heels are still together, feet are opened out in the Pilates first position. Once more, take it up, take it down. From here, you're just going to keep it long, extend those arms out to the front, flatten out your back and just take it over to the left. Bring it back center and stretch over to the right. Bring it back center once again to the left. Pull those abdominals in, flatten out that back. Take those arms out long and over to the opposite side. Bring it back center, keep the arms wide, take it back up. You're gonna take it over to the right and hold it here as that right arm stretches the band down and brings it back up. Your left arm is acting as your anchor, holding it up tall. Take it down and stretch and bring it back up. Two more, take it down, stretch, and pull it up. Last one, take this one down and hold. Right here, you're just gonna make nice little circles. We call this stirring the pot for four, three, two, and one, and reverse it for four, and three, and two, and one. Bring it back center. Take it over to the opposite side, hold. Now stretch it all the way down and lift it back up. Stretch it down. Lift up, take it down, and lift up two more. And once again, take this one down, hold, and circle that arm for four, three, two, and one. Reverse it the other way for four, three, two, and one. Bring it back up, come up to the center, take it the band behind you, open those feet out just a little bit wider turning the toes out. So we're going to do what's called a standing saw. So you're going to rotate over to the right, bring it down, hands on the outside of that baby toe, lift back up, take it over, take it down and stretch, bring it back up, take it over and stretch down, lift up, take it around, stretch, come back up to the center and over and down and lift. Exhale as you lower. One more each way. Take it up, around, and down. And last time, lift up. Take it over, around, and down. Bring it back up to the center. Bring it in front, walking those feet back in. Take a nice deep breath. Inhale, just rolling those shoulders up, back, and down. Heels are together once again. 
bring that band in a little closer to give you a little bit more tension in it. Take the arms out, just hold it, and stretch out, 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 out. If it's too much, just bring, add a little more to the band by moving the hands in or out for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Shoulders up, back, and down. Lower the band, lower the band. And again, shoulders up, back, down. Two more. And one more. Now reverse it. Just bring it forward for four, three, two, and one. Bring yourselves down to your mat. You're going to extend the legs out long. You're going to widen the band. Bring it across the balls of your feet. You want to make sure that it stays nice and wide here. We're going to try to be graceful moving this band around today. Sometimes it'll get away from you. You're going to choke up on it a little bit. Take a nice deep breath. Inhale. You're just going to exhale and just roll back just a little bit. Exhale, bring it forward. Those hands stay right at your abdominals. Just roll it back and come up. So just a half a roll down. Inhale. Take it back and bring it up. And again, take it back and bring it up. One more, take it back and bring it center. Open up those hands. You have a nice overhand grip on the band. If you need to, you can wrap it around to provide yourself a little bit more tension. But we're going to take this all the way down to the mat, all the way down to the mat. Take a nice deep breath. Inhale. You're going to exhale and roll up to seated. And as you do, kind of pull those hands behind you, bring it back, lower down, roll down, inhale, exhale, roll it up, pulling it back, and bring it forward as you roll down, inhale, exhale to come up, pulling it back behind you, bring it forward and roll down one vertebrae at a time, that doesn't change, inhale, exhale, come up. Keeping those legs down to the mat. And one more. Bring it forward as you roll down. Inhale, exhale, come up. Extending it back. Working a little bit through your triceps as you take the arms back. And just come back up to center. Nice deep breath. Inhale. Hold it here. Reset if you need to. Sometimes you may need to readjust your band to bring it properly on the your feet. Have it nice and even. Now, the arm that's closest to me, you're going to take it up long. Opposite arm stays down by your side. So inhale, exhale, rolling it down to take the arm as far as you can comfortably. Then inhale, exhale, bring it up. And then you're just going to take it over and switch. Inhale, exhale, lower down. That opposite arm comes around long. Bring it up. And take it over and switch. Arm is long, rolling down one vertebrae at a time. Take it over. Exhale to come up. And again, switch, taking it long. That opposite arm kind of hangs down there as a, your anchor. And roll up. One more each way. Take it up nice and long, rolling down. And bringing it up. Last time. Take it over, roll it down, inhale, exhale, bring it up. And holding on, rolling it down all of the way. You're going to take one foot out nice and easy, then extend that opposite leg up. I want you to choke up on your band a little bit. You're going to bring it down towards your abdominals, lower the leg slightly, and just give me small leg circles towards me for six. Five, four, three, two, and one more. And then reverse it for six, five, four, three, two, and one more. Now you're going to take that leg all the way up. I want you to take this band and really bring it down towards you. Give yourself a little bit more resistance as you lower that leg and lift and lower and lift. Nice and easy, not touching down to the floor for three, 
and two. And one more, take it up from here. You're gonna open it out to the side and then bring it back center. Open out to the side and center. Take it side and center for three and two. Did I mention those hips should not be rotating? And last one, bring it center. So we're gonna take it to the front and up to the side. To the front, down up, to the side, two more. Lift and lower and side and center. Last time, lift and lower and side and center. We're gonna open up that band, slide that opposite foot in, bend the knees cross the band between those knees heels are together lift up your head neck shoulders we're going to extend both legs out for frog bring it back take it out press and in extend and in extend and in three more three and two last one take this out hold uncross the band bring that opposite foot out Let's do the same thing on the left foot. Relax your head, neck, shoulders down, choking up on that band a little bit, bringing it across, bringing it across. Nice overhand grip, small circles away from me. For six, five, four, three, two, and one more. Now reverse the circles for six, five here's four three more and two one more that leg is up and then it comes all the way down lift up take it down be mindful of that nice toe point on that opposite leg it's just hanging out there but it's still engaged couple more take it down and lift and down and lift. Now we're gonna choke up just a little bit more, bring it down, take it over to the side and bring it center. Opening out to the side and center. Good, good, good. Side and center. Three more, three. Here's two and one more. Again, take it down and up and side and center down to the side and center. You have two more like this and center and again and center and side. Bring it up, bring it up. Open up through the band again. Bring that opposite foot in. Take a nice deep breath. Inhale. Bend the knees once again. You're crossing that band once again. Heels are together for frog. Extend and bring it in. Extend those legs out nice and long. Push. Heels are together. Heels are together. Three more. Here's three. And two. One more. Bring it in. Uncross. Extend the legs up. Take one leg out. Bring it across once again. Just open out to the side, get a nice stretch here. And bring it back center, opposite foot in, other side, pull it down to you, take it out to the side, nice stretch, and bring it center, open up, opposite foot comes in, bend at the knees, take a nice deep breath, inhale, exhale, roll up, roll up, and relax it all the way down. Take your band, good job guys. Fold that band in half, scoot forward on your mat, come down so that you're coming into bridge. You're going to take that band right across your hips, pin your hands down to the floor, lift up into your bridge. Walk those toes back so that you're resting on the toes, the heels are lifted, so lower, lift and squeeze, lower, lift and squeeze, pressing up into the band, three more, here's three, and two, one more, take this last one up and hold, and press it up for six, five, four, three, 
two, one, one, take it up, hold, hold, hold. As you press into the floor, a little resistance and relax it and lower it all the way down. Extend the legs out. Take a nice deep breath, inhale. Exhale, roll up to seated. Good job. Once again, we're taking the band. We're gonna bring it around your foot. Come over onto your side. Choking up on the band once again, you're gonna bring it right in front of your abdominals. Hold it with one hand, overhand grip. Bring your hand into your, your head, into the palm of your hand. Take it up, lift and lower. And lift and lower. Little abductor work here. Two more. Lift and lower and lift and lower. Hold it here, give me some small circles forward for four and three and two and one. You're gonna take that leg back so that the band is across that bottom leg. Once again, hold it there, lift that bottom leg, little abduct adductor work, inner thigh, lift and lower, lift and lower. There you go, there you go. Three more, here's three. And two, one more, lower it down. Now be mindful of this transition. You're gonna try to keep it under that foot. Bring yourself around, hands and knees, grabbing onto that band so it has underneath. You're gonna extend that leg back long and you're gonna lift and lower, and lift and lower, and lift, holding those abdominals in for three and two. One more, take it up, hold and press for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it, hold it, extend it long, 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 and lower down. Bring it around, slip that opposite foot in. Once again, try to be graceful. I know sometimes it's hard. Swing the leg around to come to the other side. Extend it nice and long, bring it in front. Overhand grip, bring it down, and lift, and lower, and lift, and lower. Take it up nice and tall for three, and two, one more. Little circles forward for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take that leg back, lower it down so that the band comes across that bottom leg. Anchor it, actually give yourself a little bit more attention here, choke up on it, lift that bottom leg, little inner thigh, adductor work, press up and down. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Three more, three and two, one more. Take it down, once again, smooth transition here. Coming up hands and knees. That band comes right in the center. Hopefully that band stays on that foot nice and easy as you lift and lower. Three more. Here's three and two. One more, hold this one up and press for six, five, four, three, two and one, hold it, hold it, hold it, extend that leg longer and stronger and relax it down, bring it in, come around. You're gonna come up to standing. Straighten that band out, bringing it underneath that right foot. So think of that foot coming to the front corner of your mat nice on an angle take that back leg nice and long from here grabbing that band we call this boxing so you're going to extend one arm to the front one arm to the back <sighs> arms should come long to the front and long to the back good good long to the front long to the back a little bit of back, a little bit of tricep, 
And again, take it extend. And extend for four and three. Here's two and one more. Coming back up, nice and tall, sitting into that back leg. Choke up on the band a little bit. Hold the abdominals in nice and tight. For just nice, easy bicep curls, you're gonna lift and lower, lift and lower. And again, if it's too little or too much, choke up, choke down. Lift and lower, lift arms in close. Movement is elbow to wrist, biceps. Lift and lower for four, three, here's two, and one more. Take it down, overhand grip here. Extend that leg back a little bit longer. We're gonna take it up, pressing through the triceps. Press up, press up, press up. For three and two, one more. Take this one up and hold and press up for six, five, four, three, two, and one, and lower down. You're gonna bring that to that opposite foot. A Little bit of equal time here. Again, coming to that corner. Overhand grip, open it out to the side. Side lat raises and center. Take it out wide, side and center. And side and center. Beautiful, side and center, two more. And once again, and holding it down, bring that one hand right here. We're gonna do what's called drawing your sword. You're gonna bring it up to your shoulder, extend it out, bring it in, take it down. Lift up, open out, in and down. Lift up, open out, in, one more. Lift up, open out, in and down. Now this one's a little tricky. You're just gonna hold on the bands just like they are. Bring that hand to your quadricep. Opposite hand wraps around behind your head. You're gonna extend and lower, extend and lower. Now like I said, Pilates has a lot of funny names for things and they call this painting under the stairs. I don't name them, I just tell you. Two more, extend, and down, extend, and down, bring it around, bring it up, take it to the other side. Once again, we're gonna do a little bicep press up here. So arms are at a 90 degree angle, you're just bringing them up, and you're just pressing up, and up, and up, and up, for six, five, four, Three, two, and one. You're gonna open them out, keeping those arms bent. Exhale, bring it center, elbows together, working through your chest. Inhale, there you go. So open out, and open out. Couple more, open out, and again, open out. Bring it in, lower down. Let's draw your sword on the opposite side. So take it up. Extend it out, in and down. Lift and open and in and down. Take it up, draw it up, extend. Two more, lift up, extend. And last one, lift up, extend. Bring it down, lowering that forearm to your quadricep. Take that arm, wrap it behind your head. We're gonna paint underneath the stairs on the opposite side, so lift and lower, and lift, and lower for three. Here's two, and one more. Bring it down, bring it around, come back up to the center. Once again, straighten out that band. You're gonna stand on it once again, taking those feet a little bit wider. Overhand grip. Lean forward, just gonna open the arms out and bring it center. So you're keeping a nice bend in those elbows and bring it center, out 
and center. Two more, out and center. Hold this one out, hold this one out, and just press up. Don't look up at me, just hold it here. Press for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it, bring it down, roll your shoulders up, back, and down. Bring yourselves back down to the mat once again. Band is back to the balls of your feet. Extend the legs out. Make sure that band is nice and even. Take a nice deep breath. Inhale, exhale, roll down. And then lift those legs all the way up to the ceiling, choking up on the band just a little bit. We're going to do our Pilates 100s here with the band. So take a nice deep breath. Inhale as you exhale, pull down on the band. Get that tension and hold it. And then start to pulse the arms down as you inhale for five. And exhale for five. So five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Keep that going. Legs are nice and long. And again. So if you want to add a little bit here, take those legs a little lower. Still adding that pulse. So you have five more. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Here's three. And two. And one more. And hold it up, hold it up, hold it up. There you go. Lower the legs. Bring it up. Just walk up nice and easy. Hold it here. Drawing the band in towards you, toward those abdominals. Legs are long, coming up nice and strong. Shoulders are up, back, and down. You're just going to lean back. You're going to twist, and you're going to twist and bring it center. So take it back. Twist. Elbows come down towards the floor. Twist, center, and lift. So lower. Twist, and twist, and center, and up. Again, take it back and twist, and twist, and up, two more. Take it back, elbow to the floor, elbow to the floor, and center, one more. Take it back, to the floor, to the floor, bring it center, exhale, lift up. Once again, take a nice deep breath, inhale. You're gonna exhale, roll all the way down. <sighs> bring the knees in, extend the legs up. Bring your hands down towards the end of the band. You're going to open the arms out wide. Bring them down to the floor. Just going to lower those legs. Exhale, bring it up. Take it down as far as is comfortable for you. Exhale and bring it up. Take it down lower. Exhale and lift. Again, take it down lower. And exhale and lift. Two more. Take it down. Exhale and lift. One more, take it down. Exhale and lift. Bring it back in towards you. Choking up on that band. Take a nice deep breath, inhale. Exhale, roll up, come up into your teaser. Come up to your teaser and hold. Lowering the feet down. Come up nice and tall. Bring the band from around those feet. Come on to your side. So right here, lower the band down, grab hold with your hand, coming onto your side. You might have to figure out where that good point is for you, where that sweet spot is. You're going to take it up and lift and take it down. Take it up, lift and open and bring it down. If you can, extend that opposite leg. Lift and open and take it down. Lift, open and lower two more lift open and lower one more lift open and hold lift open and hold for four three two and one bring it down and come around to the opposite side starting out with that bottom knee bent hand secures the band do your first couple modified Take it up and stretch. And then you can find out where that placement is for you. Maybe choke up a little bit more. 
and then take it up, lift, and stretch, and then bring it down. Take it up, lift, open, and stretch. Take it over. Lift, open, and stretch. Take it down. Couple more. Lift, open, and stretch. Bring it down. Lift, open, stretch, and hold for four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. Pull that knee down. Bring those knees into your mermaid stretch. So just let the band rest in front. You're going to take a nice deep breath. Inhale. Exhale, rotate around. <sighs> Bring it back up to the center. Exhale, rotate around. <sighs> Bring it back to the center. Exhale, melt down. Grab the band one more time. This time, folding it again in half. Take it up, inhale. Exhale, take it over and stretch. Bring it up center. Take it over and stretch. Take it up. Rotate. Take it down. Lift up. Take it around. Take it down and stretch. Hold that stretch. Lower and lift and lower and lift. Two more. Exhale as you push up. And bring those legs around to the other side. Again, take it up. Take it over and stretch. Lift up center. Take it over and stretch. Come back up. Rotate around. Take it down and lift up around to the opposite side. Take it down, opening that band a little bit wider. Rotate your chest so it's square to the mat. Lower down. Exhale, push up. Take it down. Two more. Inhale to lower. Exhale to press up. Last time. And press up. Bring it back around. Swing both those legs around. Cross at the ankles. Just let that band relax in front. Great job, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to take a nice deep breath. Inhale. As you ex exhale, melt down and bring those hands right on top of your quadriceps. You're going to pull those shoulders up, back, and down. Two more. And once again, you're going to take a nice deep breath. Inhale. Exhale, fall forward. Bring it back up. Open the arms out. Last time, inhale, lift up. Exhale, fall forward, bring it back center, and take those arms back down by your sides. Thank you for joining me today using the TheraBand. You can do this a couple more times through if you're feeling good about it today. Pilates is always a good complement to all of your strength classes, so hopefully we'll see you next time.